Hello YouTube people, uh, people interested in Leela Chess Zero. Here's another game um, that Leela has played. Uh, Leela in this case uh, is ID70 and this is run by um, someone with their own computer and they're playing against the, the Lee Chess AI level 7, um, which again is based on Stockfish, a, a weakened version of Stockfish. Um, but what I like about this is that Leela gets an advantage and hammers at home, just wins. Um, without any horrible blunders, without stupidly long endgame. Um, I think that was probably helped by the fact, in this case, that um, that Leela had one minute a move at a decent speed, so four, four to 5,000 nodes per second, so calculating um, calculating lots and lots of uh, variations, lots of possibilities um, before each move was, was made by the human who was putting into, into Lee Chess. Um, so here's, here's Leela doing well. So, what do we start with? We start with a four knights opening, four knights game. Bishop b5, bishop c5, and captures. So, drawish kind of position, says Stockfish. Yeah, I mean, it's not the most thrilling opening, perhaps, but you've got an imbalance. You've got bishop and bishop for knight, and um, and that weakness um, of these pawns. Uh, a4 kind of makes sense. Queen comes that queen comes out, <laughs> pushing pushing that pawn. Okay, so apart from the a, a pawn push and not developing the bishop a bit faster, normal kind of stuff. H6 useful move. H3 useful move. I guess the knight here is wanting to come in to this square. Bishop retreats. Quite natural kind of check so far. Maybe the bishop is now wanting to come this way. In fact, in the last video, if you've watched that, um, you see that uh, Leela gets one bishop and puts all of her pawns on squares of the other colour. Um, looks like I might be doing it here. Oh, this is quite nice, yeah. Um, so maybe this is the reason why. This knight over here doesn't have much of a future. It's managed to push the push the bishop back, but then it's not really doing anything after that. So pushes b3, rook e8, and then comes back to b2 in order to come into to c4, which it does even though it doesn't come with a tempo on the queen. And the bishop comes back, so it didn't really achieve much in the end. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Um, so this is one that uh, Lee Chess, um, on its on its analysis, thinks is an inaccuracy. Knight takes e5, but it's got an interesting idea. Put get this skewer in. Um, you've won you've won this rook either way, uh, but you can lose a lose something for it. Yeah, this bishop takes h3, not working apparently. Maybe maybe the weaker version of Lee Chess AI thought it would, maybe not. Um, and so so this bishop sack doesn't work basically, um, objectively doesn't work, um, and Leela takes it, and eventually takes the takes the rook, get some get some exchanges, plus two point six. What have we got there? Bishop versus knight, and do. do, do there's no material differences there. We've got the same number of pawns, seven pawns each side. Bishop versus knight. Um, and you've got an open open king here. Um, but Stockfish is saying plus plus two point three, so um, can't be too bad, I guess. Um, so queen comes here, looking to, to swap off. Hang on, what's going on here? How does that not just lose a bishop? I mean, it looked. Oh, I'm being thick. Being thick. Okay, sorry. Of course, the queen can just take the bishop here. <laughs> I'm miscounting the rooks. <laughs> Bit embarrassing there. Okay, so yeah, one rook up. Um, and this bishop is going to go down. So the exchange up is, is what White's managed to achieve here. Oh, oh, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Goodness me, that's, this is pro professional. Professional stuff here, okay. D4. So 
so why can't this just be taken? Oh man, this is embarrassing. I'm so weak. I don't even <laughs> notice that this, this would be hanging. Okay, fine. And the queen's come off. Right, so rook comes over here. I've got all these, these comments from Lee Chess saying some other moves that could be played. Um, so now we're, we're the exchange up. Again, is Leela. And, um, and it kind of hovers around here for a little bit. Um, loses a pawn but centralizes the king. Interesting choice. And we get a bit of, a bit of silly back and forth with the white rook here, not quite knowing how to progress until eventually black decides it's time. So this is interesting. I mean, if Stockfish um, at full strength was taking up this position, even though it's kind of you know losing by the exchange or so, or it's it's not winning at least, um, you know it won't introduce any unnecessary blunder. It won't kind of weaken itself um, accidentally. And if it just kind of stayed here, just doing nothing, moving the king backwards and forwards, um, Leela may not know how to progress in this kind of position. Um, but instead, Stockfish takes on e4 and opens up something for the rook to do, cutting off the king here. And you know, oh, and for some reason, uh, the leeches. Um, well, for some reason, it's because it's deliberately weak. Let's be honest; it's not. <laughs> it's not because it's actually wanting to do this. It's just because we're forcing it to make bad moves. Uh, but it's opening up lines, files for these rooks, and um, making them stronger, which isn't a good strategy generally. Okay, so the rook gets active, now the king's on that back rank, um, and white can pick up some, some pawns. We'll just kind of quickly go through this now. I mean, this is, this apparently is a, a clear win, uh, end, winning ending. Makes sense, you've got some strong strong rooks, this king isn't doing anything, uh, isn't going to be able to contribute. Um, and you know, the rook and knight aren't overly strong here. I mean, I'm no expert, as you can tell from my horrendous um, insights that I've already given you on this game. Um, but we've got an advantage, and um, oh, look at that. Big jump there. I guess this is the point where it realizes that the white can white can queen. Okay, threatening mate. And now rooks on the seventh, double rooks on the seventh. Everyone knows that this is a good good thing. I remember when I was a kid, when I was about seven, played my first game of chess at my primary school, and I was playing against the person who was um, thought of as the best player in the school. And I somehow managed to get my rooks to the seventh, um, and I played a desperation check. It was in my my mind a desperation check, thinking, "Oh, I'm going to lose here. I better just get a check in." Um, and it turned out to be checkmate. I didn't even realise, but it was rooks on the seventh. So kids, rooks on the seventh, great idea. Okay, and you get a bit of shuffling. Mate in four now, apparently. Mate in three, mate in two. Stockfish has just thrown thrown material at Leela, trying to trying to win, but it's not enough. And finally, the queen uh, checkmates the new pr promoted queen. So, so if we just look at the chart according to Lee Chess, um, Stockfish like full strength Stockfish analysis just gets better mostly. A um, little dip here and there, uh, but basically Leela got an advantage and took it home. So this is a, this is a game where Leela is just just a better engine than than Stockfish. Um, uh, at level seven on the Lee Chess site. Um, four inaccuracies, one mistake, average center pawn loss at 17. Um, so with enough time to think, Leela can can play okay against, you know, a lot of people will struggle against um, against Lee Chess AI level seven. Um, a lot of people will struggle against that level of engine. Um, and here is Leela, who's learned chess entirely on her own by playing millions of games against herself. Well, not millions yet, almost two million. Um, doing pretty well here. Hope this has been interesting to you. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me if I should do these a different way. Tell me if I should do a bit more prep, whatever you want. Um, but here we are approaching 10 minutes and all I want to say is please join in, um, contribute your CPU, your GPU, your computer um, to the effort to get better. Go to the lc0.org site 
and there are instructions here on getting started how you can help. You can also follow on Twitter at LilaChess0 and get lots of updates there. Well, hopefully lots of updates. I've only just set it up. Um, and we'll send out um, send out tweets about new versions of the network, new developments, all this kind of stuff. So, hope that's been interesting. Tell me what you think. Thanks very much. Bye.